Easy pasta dinner in less than 30 minutes. Hey everyone, I'm Dina from simplyhomecook.com and today I'm going to show you how to make lobster ravioli with the most incredible sauce. This sauce is infused with white wine, there's garlic in there, it has butter in there, it's so rich and creamy and just downright delicious. Now before we get started, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you guys are notified every time I come out with a new recipe. Now let me show you how to make this. The first thing you want to do is mince up three garlic cloves. Just mince them up as finely as possible. Now place a large pan over medium high heat and then you want to add in one tablespoon of unsalted butter along with one tablespoon of olive oil. Now the butter adds a lot of flavor but you can't add only butter. You want to add some olive oil that'll prevent the butter from burning. Now add in the minced garlic cloves and then stir them around for about a minute or so until the garlic becomes fragrant and it just starts to cook. Then bring the heat to high and then carefully add in one half cup of white wine. Now you want to stir it around for a few minutes just until that wine begins to cook out. Now if you prefer not to use white wine, you can always substitute it with chicken broth and you would just literally use the same amount of chicken broth, so half a cup of chicken broth. Now to make this sauce extra creamy and delicious, you want to add one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. Then add an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper along with half a teaspoon of salt. Now drop the heat to medium high, you don't want it too high. And once that sauce begins to come to like a bubbly simmer, turn the heat off completely. And that's when you can add in a third cup of grated Parmesan cheese. The reason why you want the heat off is when you add Parmesan cheese to like something really hot, it will curdle it and that's gonna make it like greedy and grainy, it's just not gonna be good. We're going for a smooth, creamy sauce here. Once the cheese is fully mixed into the sauce and it's fully melted, that's when you can add one cup of fresh baby spinach. And then just stir that around for a few minutes. You don't even need to turn the heat on. That sauce will be so hot that it will wilt the spinach perfectly. So don't worry if the heat is not turned on. Now that the sauce is done, we can focus on the ravioli. Now disclaimer, I did not make my own lobster ravioli from scratch because it takes a lot of time and most people do not have that time. So I went for the easy, simple version. But if you want to make your own, by all means, you are more than welcome to. For the ravioli, all I did was just fill a pot of water, salted water, brought it to a boil and then cooked the ravioli per instructions. Be careful not to overcook them or to like really stir them around too much because it will cause them to open up and all that delicious filling is gonna come out. And that happened to me, so don't make my mistake. So once your ravioli is cooked, just carefully take it out with a slotted spoon and then gently put it into that sauce. Give it a nice gentle mix and your lobster ravioli is done. And there you have it guys, look how incredibly easy this is to make. I mean, it comes together in less than 30 minutes from start to finish, which makes it a perfect recipe for like a busy weeknight and it looks fancy enough to serve for like a formal dinner party too. If you guys give this recipe a try, I would love to know how you liked it. Just leave your feedback in the comments below. It means so much to me when you guys make my recipes. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!